There is a whole otherworldly ecosystem possible in the extreme environment that is absent of sunlight around hydrothermal vents. All possible due to a small but mighty bacteria. Giant white crabs, blind shrimp, large clams, mussels, and giant tube worms are just some of over the 300 species that coexist around hydrothermal vents. Before we dive down to the bottom of the ocean, let's first look at life on the surface. All life has a single driving energy source that makes up the base of the food chain. The energy source that is used on the surface of the Earth is the sun, which drives a process called photosynthesis, where chloroplasts and green plants convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy, using carbon dioxide and water to create oxygen and carbohydrates. These green plants then make up the base of the food chain and are the primary producers that are used as energy source by consumers. Much like on the surface in shallow marine environments where the sunlight reaches the surface of the water in the photic zone, which reaches a depth of 200 meters below the surface of the water, photosynthesis is possible. And single-celled life such as phytoplankton and other photosynthetic organisms serves as the primary producers providing energy to consumers. So how can life survive in the aphotic zone, which is the zone below the photic zone, starting at a thousand meters below the surface of the water, where there is no sun? The answer is chemosynthesis. Chemosynthesis is not that much different from photosynthesis, but instead of light energy powering life, chemical energy powers it instead. But only when the right conditions are present, such as when there is hydrothermal vent. The molecules used in the process of chemosynthesis are hydrogen sulfide that is provided by the hydrothermal vents, and water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen that are already in the seawater. Chemosynthetic bacteria are like microbial factories, effectively creating energy where there is no sunlight. These extremely effective micro factories are powered by the reaction between the hydrogen sulfide and oxygen. The raw materials are carbon dioxide and water. And the finished product, carbohydrates. So in deep sea environments where hydrothermal vents are present, chemosynthetic bacteria make up the base of the food chain. The organisms that live around the hydrothermal vents either eat the bacteria, such as shrimp and clams, Or in the case of tube worms that absorb the hydrogen sulfide and funnel it to the bacteria that live in their skin, which in turn produces organic molecules that the tube worm shares. And other large consumers such as crabs and octopus that eat the organisms that feed on the bacteria. Chemosynthetic bacteria are like microbial warriors of the deep ocean, creating life in the extreme, high-temperature, high-pressure environments that is in complete darkness around hydrothermal vents. Which leaves the question, is life on other planets possible due to chemosynthetic bacteria? As far as we know, there are two parallel food chains, which depend on two different primary producers. One that gets its energy from the sun, and one that gets its energy from molecules that seep out of the Earth at hydrothermal vents. So from the bottom of our oceans to the unknowns of our galaxy, who knows what's yet to be discovered, all thanks to chemosynthetic bacteria.